Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this video. And I'm here with updates on on the tropical disturbance in the Caribbean that you're seeing highlighted in yellow, as well as the monstrous hurricane Iota, almost a cat five, about to make um, landfall along the northeastern coast of Nicaragua. And so this is probably going to be the strongest storm of the season if it achieves cat 5 status but before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't and tap the bell so you know every time when i post a new video because i will keep you guys updated on tropical cyclone activity right through the season and you can also follow me on instagram my weather account is with the girl danny and my personal is danny henry official and you can also join my discord server the link is in the description of this video okay guys so let us look at a satellite view of yota at this time and there we we have the monster we see that tiny eye but just look at that defined eye wall so it is almost a cat 5 guys it has sustained winds of 155 miles per hour just about two or one mile per hour short of being a cat 5 so just a bit more strengthening will result in this being a cat 5 and let me tell you guys at the 4 a.m advisory which is about um three hours prior to the recent update we it has sustained winds of 145 miles per hour that's 10 miles per hour in the space of just around three hours guys so this is likely to be a cat 5 at landfall and so here we have the national hurricane center's cone forecast we still have that hurricane warning that are that is in place for a lot of areas and also tropical storm warning for another for the northern portion of Honduras and south of that warning area which is in red um, we see that tropical storm warning area in blue for portions of Nicaragua as well. And so guys, this is just a very disastrous and catastrophic hurricane that is going to bring life-threatening conditions. There's no question about how conditions are going to be when it makes landfall. It is going to bring life-threatening conditions. There will be that very, very dangerous surge when it moves inland. The rainfall is really going to be a problem. And of course, the strong winds are capable of knocking down structures that are even sturdy because i mean the winds are so strong and the worst part it is just over a week after it made landfall so this is a very um terrible scenario right here for central america and so guys time is definitely running out maybe the storm force winds will start to affect the coast if they haven't already later this morning and so now let's briefly go to this tropical disturbance here so this um, is given a low 30% chance of development at this time. So yesterday it was at 20 and now this morning it is at 30% chance. And so we see that it's highlighted in the South Caribbean and we're not seeing the X. That's usually show the where that low pressure area is located and that's because it has not yet formed. But once it does, we will see it. But it is possible for development in the same vicinity again. But fortunately, some models show this thing going much more south. So maybe Costa Rica could be affected by this. And then looking at the ocean temperature map, take a look at that across the Caribbean. We are in the month of November and ocean temperatures are very, very, very favorable at this time for tropical development. If it wasn't for the unfavorable wind shear that started to take over, any disturbance that comes in the Caribbean would have maybe a scenario like Eta or Iota right now. And so let us look at the current wind shear map for the Caribbean. And so guys, at this time, we have the reds meaning unfavorable, the yellows neutral, and the greens meaning favorable. So we see that um, Iota is in, a, is in a region of very favorable shear. And so this is really going to be aiding in its intensification up to the point of landfall. It could potentially be a cat 5 and the first of the season if it, it, um, if it achieves that status because we've had a lot of storms like Laura, and even Eta that were close to Cat 5 status but didn't achieve it. So guys, this is a monster that is just dominating the South Caribbean at this time, guys. And it is an imminent threat to land. And so guys, that is really it for this update. And if you found this video to be pretty informative, please give a thumbs up. And you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And just remember to always be weather wise and I will keep giving all your necessary updates on the tropics as time goes by.